Let's talk a little bit more about what took place last night. That is our top story this morning. One person is dead, dozens injured after a roof of a theater collapsed during last night's storm. Joni Lum joins us from Belvedere with the latest. Good morning, Joni. Good morning, Anita. There's been a, a cleanup and investigation mission going on all night here in Belvedere. We are on the main street in Belvedere downtown, and this is the Apollo Theater behind me. You can see this historic structure. There's extensive damage. The marquee has fallen down onto the sidewalk. Um, this is where a concert was about to take place last night, and it appears to have taken a direct hit from the storm. We have some aerial views that are very revealing. You can see that two parts of the roof of this structure have been torn away or fell down during that storm. Um, there's a back part of the theater and then the front part of the theater where you can see straight into the building where it apparently the roof collapsed. Also, you can see some of the other damage here in Belvedere on the main street. There's a giant rooftop in the middle of the street that appears to have come from somewhere else. Throughout Bel Belvedere, we see that there are trees down and debris on the streets. A lot of damage here. There were reports of 90 mile an hour winds last night as violent weather moved through Illinois. Illinois. It caused the roof to collapse on top of the crowd that had gathered near the stage. The fire chief says that one person died, five were severely hurt, 28 total were injured. Um, there was a tornado warning apparently just five minutes before all of this happened. Bricks tumbled onto the street, the theater marquee crashed down, and Belvedere's mayor said that the city is trying to help the victims. And it collapsed on all the guests and uh, the workers, the employees, the staff. And, uh, you know, um, I thought, I'm sure they felt they were in the safest place they could be. But um, that's why it, it uh, makes me wonder about uh, what actually uh, the event was with the wind. And we also have some video from inside the concert hall. The fire department is just one block away. So they were here instantly. And although there was the danger of more collapse possible, rescuers and witnesses worked to free people from under the debris. It was a difficult scene. This does hurt. We don't have anything that happens like this um, at all in Belvedere. It's, it's a community where people enjoy. Um, it's, it's relatively safe. And for something like this to happen so close, it, it hurts. Um, it's, I'm, I'm heartbroken uh, for everybody affected. Um, I, I hope um, with the little bit of leadership that I can show within my generation, especially in the high school, um, we're able to do something that will um, make this a better outcome. And the Apollo Theater was not the only building damaged here in Belvedere. The, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a building across the street that also sustained some damage. Perhaps that's where that rooftop came from. But the fire department said that they had to thoroughly search both of the buildings. They also had some fires going on from gas leaks, electrical fires. They had to do uh, an elevator rescue at another location last night. All of these things happening due to the storm that caused so much damage here. Governor Pritzker has reached out to the mayor. They've talked, and uh, uh, the governor is offering some support. Reporting live in Belvedere, I'm Joni Love. How back to you. Joni, thank you. And